Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to extract certain columns of a data table using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data table that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So first I'm installing and loading the data table package. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it as you can see in line 3 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the data table function, as you can see in line 5. And within the data table function, I'm specifying the data that I want to store in my data table. So if you run line 5 of the code, a new data table object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called dead tab. And we can print this data table to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that we have created a data table with three rows and four columns. The columns are called v1, v2, v3 and v4. And now let's assume that we want to remove the columns v1 and v3 from our data table. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 8. So in this line of code I'm specifying the name of our data table and then I'm subsetting this data table using square brackets and within the square brackets I need to specify a comma to tell R that I want to extract certain columns. Then I'm specifying a vector which is consisting of the column names of the data table columns that I want to remove. And in front of this vector I need to specify a bang sign. Then I'm specifying another comma and then I'm setting the with argument to be equal to false. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data table object, which is called that tab new. So if you run line 8 of the code, you can see that a new data table object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this data table to the RStudio console by running line 9 of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that we have created a new data table that contains only the variables v2 and v4 but the variables v1 and v3 have been removed. So in this video I have explained how to extract certain columns from a data table using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on data tables and on the code that I have shown in this video, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the code that I have used in this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.